Um, I'm really not going to add very, very much more. Um, you know, I can see the look of horror on your faces, uh, the thought of going on for another hour. Um, so I went. But I just wanted to leave with just, just a, one, one thought, really. And that is that uh, it's worth remembering that when you look around at the landscape now, you see people, you know, basically fighting against what we've been talking about today. Um, first of all, what is absent is that nobody really makes a very, very comprehensive uh, uh, case anymore for migration. And you might say, oh, yes, but they do. But actually look at it, really look at it. Actually, the case intellectually is not really made very much anymore. Certainly, it's not made for mass migration. And uh, there is a sort of sense in which they are in retreat, right? I think we should take great comfort from that. The other thing as well, and encouragement. The other thing as well is that quite often, People say, well, they're just virtue signaling people who want, you know, all refugees welcome, mass migration. They're just virtue signaling. Um, I don't think it's just that actually at all. In fact, I think that's to let them off lightly. What we must not do is underestimate quite how much many of these people do not like this country. I mean, this is never said. But really, when it comes down to it, it's a, it grows from either a distaste for this country and its culture right through to an outright hatred. And I remember Peter Hitchens once saying, you know, that uh, when he was a Trotskyite, the, the only reason they supported mass migration was anything that would dilute the idea of the nation, and particularly this nation. Right. So we've got to be aware of that. It's not that they are morally superior at all. It's kind of resentment and dislike of what they are themselves. Right. Uh, go armed with that knowledge because we are on the higher moral ground. The morality of all of the discussions today is quite clear. So on that note, I think we should really take great heart because I think you know, I don't like these ideas of tipping points. I sort of, we, we hear this a lot, but I do think something is actually changing and you can feel it. I don't know whether you know what I mean. I can feel it, something is changing. And so we are at the forefront of that. Thank you so much for coming far and wide. Thank you very much. Hello, if you're enjoying the New Culture Forum channel, and you believe in our mission, may I invite you to join our membership scheme at the link below or on our website, newcultureforum.org.uk. Our work is more important now than ever, and we have great plans ahead for the future, but we can't do it without your support. From as little as three pounds per month, you can help ensure that we continue on our mission. As a member, you'll receive a range of benefits, including access to exclusive content, invitations to our private events, including here at our studios, free copies of our books, and much, much more, including, of course, our famous NCF mug. If you aren't able to become a member, then please help us by clicking this button and subscribing to our channel. It's completely free. Just remember to also click the bell icon so that you can get notifications when we post new videos. Thank you.